right, Brandy. So we're in our new recording space. <laughs> it's not that new. <laughs> this we've been here before. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you've been here before. So today's the last official day of January. How, yeah. how was your week? How was your month? Oh, you did dry January. So how was that? That was fine. Yesterday I was like, I should get some wine. But I didn't. I just, I really wanted just sugar because of my, my whole hormone situation. Mm-hmm. And I wanted a, like some dove chocolate. And I was like, I want some chocolate. I want some wine. But I didn't get anything. I just stayed my ass in the house. That's smart. Is it though? To stay in the house? <laughs> right is now, it though? Though? is it now? It's not satisfying, but <laughs> it's, it's smart. <laughs> I was just like, I want some sweets. I want something. Uh, my month has not been as productive as I would have liked it to be because I kept forgetting shit. Like, I would, like, make mental lists and then forget them. And that sucked. I know mental lists don't work for me whatsoever. I have to write it down. Yeah. And, like, or, like, I was, like, yesterday I was in the car. I was like, okay, I need to, I want to do this, 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 and this. Then when I got out of the car, I couldn't remember nothing. <laughs> I was like, I don't remember what I said I was going to do. Mm-hmm. That's how I get when I get in the store. I'm like, what am I here for? <laughs> <laughs> and so, but yeah, January's over. Wow. We're already one month into 2021 and it's still a shit show. Yay! As long as we're consistent, that's all that really matters, right? Mm, how was your week, month, year? Well, week. I, um, it's been good. I am myself trying to, you know, be productive. I've thought about it long and hard and have come to terms that it's premature for a storefront for Beauty's Biscuits. And I think that that just shows a level of maturity on my part that I can say, girl, you're not ready. Don't jump into something that's going to be so stressful. No days off. And it's going to really absorb and take all of my time and energy. And I am not ready for that. Uh, I wish I was, but I'm not. I still need to, you know, build Beauty's Biscuits as a brand and get fucking fancy and then start growing. So um, that's where we are. So I was like, okay, so I'm not going to do that, but I am going to go ahead and invest in the business. So there's some things I'm going to be ordering and, you know. Just that episode of Two Broke Girls when they um, they had to close their store. No. Yeah. I know you and mom love Two Broke Girls. So does Kendall. I enjoy Two Broke Girls. Um, there was the season where they got a storefront and, you know, they had their grand opening and that was great. And their store was across the street from a candy store. And um, Caroline started dating the guy who owned the store. But anyway, uh, <laughs> they ev- eventually had to end up going to Caroline's aunt. I think it was Caroline's aunt. Yeah, it was Caroline's aunt for um, money because in order for them to keep their store open. Mm -hmm. So, well, I would have to go to a lot of people for money (laughs) to keep my store open. (laughs) Well, she didn't give it to them. And so they had to close it. Yeah. So I just, I'm not ready, but I want to be. So I just love that I tried and um, I kind of have options, but right now it's not the right time for us. So um, other than that... I was gardening today. I planted a blackberry bush and um, I'm getting my broccoli and my Brussels sprouts ready to go out into the garden because they're cold hardy. A blackberry bush. I got one at Sam's Club. How much was it? I mean, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to plant some fucking berries around the, the fence in my in my yard because I um we had a fucking a honeysuckle thing and it was growing up the, the fence like mm. It wasn't a vine, so I was like, why would they do this? And so the the trunk of it was, like, growing through the fence. I had to chop that shit. I was like, this is nasty, and I had to chop it down. This is nasty. <laughs> well, um, I believe I paid $16.99. Oh, never mind. But I got <laughs> two blackberry bushes. So I have the extra one. If you want one, you can have it. But you got to plant it. I was just going to, no, I was just going to do bushes, like, blue, blackberries and blueberries. Like up in um, Humboldt, there's just berries that grow all over. Like I'm telling you, I'll give you the blackberry bush if you want one. Somebody just threw seeds out there and they just started growing. Sure. But I don't know. Maybe. (laughs) They have to be be watered. They need water. Yes, that's the thing. And because I tried. So um, last year when I did my first video on uh, YouTube for my Sunny's Garden I was planting, um, I planted a blackberry and a blueberry or an, and a raspberry, I think. And they all died. 
mm-hmm. and planted them in the ground and nothing ever came of them. They were just like, fuck you, it's over. <laughs> and so um, this time I have it in a, a wine barrel where I had um, my grapes that died. So, you know, shit dies, keep planting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, um, I'm Sunny Hepburn. And I'm Brandy Flakes. And this is Book, Book of, of Lies. Lies. The podcast. It's Bolt Bitches. Oh, yes, it is. And hello, listeners. How y'all doing? Welcome to February. If you'd like to connect with us, feel free to connect with us on Twitter at Book of Lies Pod, on Instagram and Facebook, Book of Lies Podcast. We have a website, bookofliespodcast.com. And you can also send us an email. Maybe it's a topic you want us to cover. Maybe we're tickling your joints and you're just so happy to be listening to us. Send us your joints. <laughs> send the email to bookofliespodcast at gmail.com. And um, tell us what's happening. Oh, and hello, patrons. We love you guys. <laughs> we got it. Um, I never checked the P.O. box. I got to get better. But one of our patrons, Kathleen, sent us a wonderful Christmas card. Oh, yeah. It is fucking February, and you just checked the thing, and we got a Christmas card. I checked it in January, mm. and it's still January now, so don't talk shit. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you, Kathleen. <laughs> oh, dude. So I started watching um, Selling Sunset. Have you watched? I know I talked to you about that. Nope. I haven't watched it. So, guys, it's a series. It's about real, ta- real estate it's folks, a, right? It's about real estate in West Hollywood and Beverly Hills. Look at these veins. I could totally um, be a heroin addict. Ooh, you well, Look at that. you have good veins. I'm, I could totally be a heroin addict. Like, why would you, why would why, you want to be that? Why would you want to be that? <laughs> to collapse your veins and kill yourself? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> You're silly. Maybe when I turn... You've seen um, Little Miss Sunshine? Yeah. When, um, uh, I want to say Ed Harris. His name's not Ed Harris. The um, the dad. The, the grandfather, grandfather. He's like, I'm bored. <laughs> so he starts doing coke. Oh, my God. I need to watch that again. Because <laughs> Abu Girl Braislin was like, what, 10 in that movie? Now she's like 30. <laughs> well, yeah. She's not that old, but I'm, you know, I'm yeah. being dramatic, of course. And she's got huge boobs. She really does, because she was in that show, Scream Queens, mm-hmm. right? Back to Selling Sunset. Um, it's a Netflix series. There's three seasons. Each season has eight episodes, and they're only like 30 to 40 minutes. So it's an easy binge. Honestly, I'm watching it for the houses. These houses look fucking amazing. That's, Million yeah. dollar homes. That's why I would watch it, too. Listen, I had my husband. I was like, Jamal, look at this. Look at this cabinet. Look at these doors. I want this. I want this in this house. That's and, aspirational. Yeah, so super aspirations. And like one of the characters, uh, Trishel. I love her. I'm with you, girl. Her not uh, Trishel from the real world, right? No, um, she was married to the fool from This Is Us. His real name oh. is Justin Hartley. Okay. Justin Hartley, you're a dick, by the way. Um, her husband's a dick. Yeah. What? He was like, I guess it got in a fight, and then he filed for divorce like the next day. Oh my god! And never spoke to her again. So she's not married to him. They're going through divorce. Ermagerd. Ermagerd. And, like, she found out from TMZ breaking the news. Oh, my God. And this is all documented on the the, the third the season. Yeah, it's fucked up. I would, like, wow. punch him in the dick. Like, if you want to hire somebody to punch him in the dick, girl, we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Will we? <laughs> Pay me enough, I'll do it. <laughs> Go stalk his ass and punch him, punch in, the him in the dick. <laughs> Just run up to him while he like gets out of his car and punch yeah. him and run. Hey, Justin, psh, dick punch. Anyway, um, that's the type of quality we'll deliver to you, sugar. Anyway, it's a good series. I just really enjoyed it. And I do have like super aspirational goals for those houses. I'm like, I want a new door. I want these floors redone. I like because they have the 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 money and the team and the designers and the stagers and all these things that make these homes beautiful. Mm-hmm. So um I definitely have lots of aspirations for this closet that we're in now. Like I want a built in. Oh, man, I feel like ripping down my house and building a whole new one or something. Ripping down your house. Whatever. We'll see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I've also been watching this week. Have you been watching WandaVision? 
Oh, you don't have Disney Plus. <laughs> we can't even talk about it. Oh my gosh. Um, like you keep asking me that. I do not subscribe to Disney Plus. I know some of you guys listening, are you guys watching WandaVision? If you are, I'm caught up on all four episodes. There's and, four. Yeah, and it's getting really good finally. Cause I was like, what's happening? And it's finally coming together. So definitely check that out if you're not already. Um, Brandy. What? <laughs> What are we talking about today, Brandy? Oh, uh, I don't know. Sunny, what are we talking about today? <laughs> gotcha. Weird. I know. Today, we are going to talk about Hilaria Baldwin. Hilaria. Are you familiar? I bet she's not hilarious. <laughs> but I'm bum So, um, we're going to talk about Hilaria Baldwin. Let me give credit to where it's due. Shout out to one of my BFFs out there, Rupa, who, um, when I was up in the Bay Area... Uh, she was like, have you heard about this Hilaria Baldwin business? I was like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> who is that? And she's like, is she oh. related to the Baldwin boys? She's Alec Baldwin's wife. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard some shit. Okay, go ahead. Let's talk about the shit. Okay. <laughs> so she um, kind of, you know, spoon fed this to me. And I decided, oh, and then the insurrection happened and every- I forgot about it. Yeah. And the funny thing is, like, I was looking at a post, and I think it was Amy Schumer who said, oh, Hilaria Baldwin's so happy that this insurrection has happened because everybody forgot about her bullshit. <laughs> but, uh, honey, honey, we have not forgotten about it, and I'm here to tell you about it. Hmm. So let's get messy, because this is messy. <laughs> this is messy. So, um, Hilaria Baldwin was born Hillary Lynn Hayward Thomas. Yeah. January 6, 1984, in Boston, Massachusetts, United States of America. Okay. She's the second born child to her parents, Dr. Catherine Hayward, who was a practicing physician, I guess, at the General Hospital in Massachusetts, and her dad, David Thomas Jr., who was an attorney and um, studied Spanish literature at uh, Haverford College. And she also has an older brother. His name is Jeremy Hayward Thomas. Okay. Hillary's lineage is English, Irish, French Canadian, German. Uh, French Canadian. Uh huh. And Slovak. Okay. That is her, her bloodline. She's a white bitch. She, she is a white woman. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. She's American as they come. Like her father's side of the family. Um, it's from Iowa, Ames, Iowa, but her father's father, her grandfather, David Lynn Thomas Sr., he traveled to Argentina a lot mm -hmm. because he was an auditor for General Electric. And I guess he lived out there. So he exposed his children, her father, to, um, you know, other world cultures and raised them to be proficient in Spanish. Okay. Okay. So, um... She goes to college. She goes to NYC and NYU, NYU, <laughs> New York City. <laughs> Get a rope, NYC. Uh, yeah. So she goes to school. She studies uh, flamenco dancing. Uh huh. And her brother studied being a DJ. Like they did some real artsy shit. Right. Right. So she starts yoga. She gets into yoga when she's twenty, and um, she opens up some yoga studios and. Apparently, she battled with, like, bulimia and things of that nature growing Body up. Body image issues. Body images, yes. And her family, they would travel to Spain. Right. For the summers. Mm -hmm. They frequented Spain. Yeah. And she had lots of friends in Spain. Right. That's the, and she speaks Castellano, too. And... Fucking annoying ass bitch. Anyway, go ahead. I'm already annoyed with her, but go ahead. You're going to get annoyed. <laughs> so, um... She claimed that, you know, her and her family frequented Spain. Uh -huh. and That's like fucking Gwyneth Paltrow. Right. They compare her to Gwyneth Paltrow oh. as well. Oh, <laughs> God. And so then I guess they say over in Spain, like the people wouldn't call her Hillary. They, they would call her Hilaria. Hilaria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she goes by Hilaria. She goes by Hilaria. But what had happened was she met Alec Baldwin in... um. 2011, August 2011. He's seen her in a restaurant. But before that, he was trying to get at Selma Hayek, apparently. And he had a thing for Selma Hayek. 
that's the word on the street that he had a thing for Selma Hayek for Latin women. Okay. He sees her and he's like, oh my God, who are you? I have to know you. And gives her his business card. And she claims that she had no idea who he was. Everybody knew who Alec Baldwin was. Bitch, you haven't seen Beetlejuice? I don't believe that. Beetlejuice. <laughs> he was on 30 Rock. Hello. She's lying. Yeah. She's lying. Yeah. That's, that's, I'm 30 sorry. 30 Rock was major at, in 2011. But anyway, go ahead. Well, anyway. And so she was like, oh, Hilaria. And he was like, oh my gosh, you know, where are you from? And she was like, oh, Spain. Bitch. <laughs> And so they had a whirlwind romance. Apparently, you know, it was six weeks until he would even like kiss her. They would just shake hands and he was courting her. Um, oh, the gentleman. Mm-hmm. And I guess um, their age difference is about 19 years. And she says that, you know, she moved to NYC, but her, her family is from Spain. They're from Boston or whatever. Yeah, she lies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she lies. Yeah, she lies. And does he not think, I mean, she didn't think her family would say anything about this? Right. Well, um, when she met him, her family was not living in Spain. Her family eventually retired to Spain when they stopped teaching and stuff. So then she tries to say, oh, my home is Spain. Her mm. and Alec get together. They start dating. And she's throwing on a thick Spanish accent. Oh, God. She would say words and this and that. And, like, you know, I've watched a bunch of her interviews today. And that accent is being thrown left and right when it's beneficial for her. Right. So. Okay, Rachel Dolezal. Right. That's who they compare her to. Yeah. So, um, girl, she likes to say that going back and forth, she was always, like, speaking Spanish and English in her household. That was a thing. But her mom and her dad, they sound American as can be. Mm-hmm. Um, her brother married a Spanish woman and moved to Spain and I was trying to see what he talks like, what he sounds like. But he's a DJ. And, you know, he's a, a white guy from Boston. Yeah. So they get married. Less than a year, they get married. And there's all these interviews of... You need a birth certificate to get married. Well, actually, she's lying. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of contradicting information. And I think it's funny that now she's backpedaling and saying, no, I was born in Boston. But I guess she's repped by CAA, like management, that modeling company. And on their website, when they're trying to book her, it's... How, bitch, I got the receipts. Hold up. Hang on a second. It says that she's a Spanish model. I'm going to show you right now. Yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Right here. So this is from um, CAA. And it says Baldwin was born in May- Mallorca, Spain. Mallorca. No, she wasn't, but okay. Yeah, yeah, and raised in Boston, in Boston, right? This is what it says when they're trying to book her and get information about her. She's been booked in Ola magazine. She's done um, interviews with, like, Latina and things like that. Yeah. And people would say, oh, okay. And she also had a podcast or whatever. She was on a podcast. I'm not sure if she... She is quoted as being a podcaster also. Okay. So she lies on the, the podcast and says... Um, they're like, oh, okay, so where are you from? Um, she's like, oh, I moved here when I was, I moved to New York when I was 19. And someone says, okay, from, and she's like, my parents live in Spain. So she's not saying. She's being very. Yours. Yeah, she's being vague. She's being vague. And invasive. And being, exactly. So she's letting other people paint the narrative of inf- misinformation that she's allowing them to receive. Mm-hmm. Right? So. I saw her on Wendy Williams. God. Oh, and then, okay. Let me just put a pin right there. They have five children. She had five children in five years with Alec Baldwin. Okay. And so I guess her thing was, since she was a yoga instructor, she's written all these books and, you know, cooking and health and blah, blah, blah. So she would post a lot of pictures on social media, being huge and pregnant and her postpartum body. She's hella tiny. She's like five, three, a hundred pounds. And she would just post, you know, photos of herself and her Tonys and just like, oh, I love being pregnant. Like, who wants to be pregnant five times? Actually, she's... There's people that do. There's uh, there's people that enjoy being pregnant. That's why there's a lot of women that are surrogates because they just like being pregnant. Yeah. Well, Wendy's like, oh, you got that snapback. And I, she does. She's super tiny. And I think that was a, um, a criticism of people. They were just like, people love to hate people, unfortunately. Yeah, they did the same thing to Victoria Beckham. Yeah, but that was the image that she was portraying online and social, right? And so, on, in these magazines, she would say, "Oh, you know, Alec, he does, you know, 
he his Spanish is not so good. You know, the kids, the kids, they speak Spanish fluently, like because she's teaching her children this culture. Right. Uh And when she was a a flamenco dancer in college and on like these dancing teams or whatever, like she was doing ballroom dancing, her dance partner was like, she wants people to believe that she is Spanish. Of course. She wants people to believe she dyes her hair dark. Mm. She spray tans. There's an image of her on um, Instagram, a video, her and her baby, and she holds her arm out and her baby's arm out. She's like, you see, mommy is darker. Oh, God. You see? You see, mommy is a little darker. Whatever. It's stupid. Like, be who the fuck you are. Be who you are. And I understand people don't want to be who they are, but we're going to fucking find out. (laughs) And we're going to talk about it. Like, Amy Schumer has been, like, really on her ass, like, on social. Because, I mean... Amy Schumer. She's got nothing better to do. And we're all bored, too. So that's why we're talking about you, honey. This is your time. But the fact of the matter is you're appropriating a culture that is not yours. That's like me going and moving to Japan and fucking starting to put on kabuki makeup and freaking wearing goddamn wooden slippers and and fucking kimonos all the time and putting my hair up in a bun with chopsticks in my hair and shit like that. And then freaking like drawing my eyes to look more Japanese or whatever. That's ridiculous. (laughs) Well, she likes to say, well, you know, my parents live there, blah, blah, blah. That's where I'm from, okay? She's like, if my parents moved to China, I would say I was from China. You're stupid. That's a lie. That's exactly. That's dumb. That's dumb. You're a grown-ass woman that's married and you have kids. So you live in New York, you were born in Boston, and you're 100% American. Because a bunch of people that she's known from high school have come out the woodworks, and they're like, um... Yeah. She was whiter, she was blonder, mm-hmm. and that accent did not exist. Yeah. She gets married to Alec Baldwin. Her parents are not there. Her brother walks her down the aisle, and I think it's because they were like, oh my gosh, what has she gotten herself into? Because I think the real victim here, if you want to say there's a victim, it's Alec Baldwin. Because he, he was thought, bamboozled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he got a Latina. And, you know, he goes on um, Instagram and is doing videos and saying, you know, people are attacking someone I really love. Here's what's funny. People from Spain are not Latinas. People from Latin America are Latinas. People from Spain are Hispanic. España. They're Spaniards. Okay, Spaniards. But fucking stupid. (laughs) (laughs) So her and Alec Baldwin, um, they got married June 30th, 2012. And she, like, right after they got married, she went on, like, the Today Show or some type of show, super thick accent. Oh, it was so nice. And, you know, my family, I had 30 family members from Spain come. It was amazing. (sighs) Okay, so this is what I think needs to happen. Javier Bardem and fucking Antonio Banderas and Penelope Cruz and... Paz Vega all need to go to her house and just beat her ass. Ooh, stomp that bitch out. (laughs) Just go and whoop her ass. That's what needs to happen. Whoop ass. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know, her doing this is definitely taking money from real people from Spain. Spanish people. Yeah, exactly. Because you can't even say that it's like Latin actors. It's Spanish actors. But a lot of Spanish actors play Mexican characters. Right. But that's not the same thing as what she's fucking doing. It's not. Oh, so this is how things kind of came up. So on December 21st, somebody uh, reported, and who was it? What was her name? It was a Twitter user. I'll give you your, your credit where, where it's due in a moment. But she was like, you have to admire Hillary Baldwin's commitment to a decade-long grift where she impersonates a Spanish person. And then, like, Twitter blew up. She went on the Today Show with a reporter, and she's like, oh, you know, what's the... What, how do you stay in English? Uh, cucumber? Bitch! <laughs> oh! <laughs> gross! How do you say uh, cucumber? <laughs> and maybe she's confused because she's teaching her children Spanish. No, I she's not <laughs> fucking confused. You know what a cucumber is, you dumb hoe. <laughs> Ew! Oh, gosh. And so on December 27th, 2020, she's like, I'm many, many things. Like, you know, because they're like... And a piece of shit is one of them. I'm I'm many, many things. So people are like, oh, well, you know, you're Spanish. She's like, yes, many, many things. So she never denies that she's Spanish. And then she throws on this accent. And if you watch different things, when she's like on the Latin platforms and the the Ola magazines, Mm -hmm. they're like, okay, she's born in this and this, this, this. All the stuff that she fed them, 
they reported. Right. But now that the script has been flipped, she is trying to turn around and say it's the reporters who have um, mm-hmm. miscited right. and... And you never corrected them. Exactly. It's like, you want people to tell your story. If you're, you know, you're being your authentic self, you want people to report the story correctly. But her authentic self is a fucking lie. Mm-hmm. So instead of saying, actually, no... I was born here, but we spent time here and my parents live there now. So I'm there a lot or whatever the case is. She was just like, oh, uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because that's what she wants. She wants you to believe that. And, you know, honestly, I think it's because Alec Baldwin thought she was Latina and she just went with it. And she was like, finally. Because, yeah, because now a famous man. Is fucking who she didn't know who a rich man too. Okay, and uh, from a famous family who has five fucking kids in New York, dude. Nobody has time for that. Five kids like under the age of five. Well, he has more. He has like eighteen he ha- kids. No, he doesn't. He has an older daughter. That's it. Yeah, the daughter that he cussed out in the early Ireland, 20, right? In the early two thousands, I remember mm-hmm. that Kim Basinger's daughter. Yeah, drama. They say this is this is a word on the street that she's scared that she was scared to admit like what happened because on these I saw a compilation of Alec Baldwin imitating her accent uh-huh. and he's oh you know she did and you know my wife does that but then on certain things she's speaking clear english it's fine like she sounds like you or i but then on other things in certain words she says she throws a little flair on it and you know she's dyed her hair dark and the dark eyebrows and you know the things that she says and i think it's absolutely ridiculous it's ridiculous yes and she just backpedals and lies and says, oh, this person said this and this person misprinted this. And like, you need to own up, girl. Just own it and say, oops, my bad. She's not going to. <laughs> and if she does, it's going to be like a big fucking thing. She probably is looking for a fucking PR person right now to spin this shit if she doesn't already have one. No, she's just going on Instagram and <laughs> doing videos and, you know, things of that nature. She's just going on Instagram and doing and so I went on Reddit and I'm just reading all this stuff on Reddit and people just really are just really grossed out by this. It is. It's gross. And I just thought, I was just like, wow, you're a liar and you just need to to fucking spit the truth out. Obviously she was getting some sort of benefits from, from what she was doing because Mm -hmm. she wouldn't have helped, you know, kept up the fucking facade for so long. But Jesus, what is wrong with people? Like, honestly, just be American. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, Americans suck. (laughs) But just be fucking American. Like, you know, I'm not walking around saying, well, you know, I'm fucking Nigerian. I am Nigerian. No, you're not. You're American. That's true. Your ancestry is Nigerian. You're American. Let's be real here. If I was, like, pretending to be Yvonne Orji... Being like, yeah, I'm repping for my Nigerian folks. People be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because you ain't Nigerian, exactly. No, totally right. No, she's 100% right. And, like, I am 45% Nigerian. <laughs> okay? <laughs> right? So I am 45% Nigerian. <laughs> That's why I really liked Wendy on Potomac. I was like, go ahead, girl. Oh, Wendy OC foe. <laughs> Lord. With Wait, her four degrees. Uh, I've got four degrees. <laughs> you address me as Dr. Wendy. You know what? Honestly, though, people with PhDs are just over the top with that shit. Yeah, okay. You have a PhD, which makes you a doctor. But don't pretend to be a doctor who knows anything about the medical profession because that's not what you are. You are a doctor of law. Or a doctor. What is she a doctor of? I think she's a doctor of law, right? I have no idea what kind of doctor she is, but like, she, no, she's not a jurist doctor. Is she a jurist doctor? I think matter. it's like the the scene from Friends when Ross is in the hospital mm-hmm. and he's like, "I'm Doctor Ross Keller." Yes, and she's like, "Ross, don't fucking say that around here. That means something. <laughs> like you're in a hospital, bro." No, a, a PhD is it is like you can use the title, and a lot of people do it because it takes a lot of fucking work mm-hmm. and dedication to get that PhD. It really does. I'm not discounting that, but it's annoying. When you're like, I'm a doctor, and people are like, doctor of what? <laughs> doctor of your mom. And you're Shut like, up. well, I'm a doctor of geology. <laughs> That's fine. That, congratulations. But 
I'm not going to be like, doctor, doctor, if my fucking pinky gets cut off. Mm -hmm. And I need you to fucking, you know, I need a doctor to sew it back on. Yeah. So if you're on an airplane and there's a medical emergency and they're like, is there a doctor in the house? And you fucking raise your hand. You better have some fucking medical fucking shit under your belt. Mm -hmm. So let's get back to Hilaria. She did an interview for Vanity Fair España. And so she lies and says that her family... (laughs) couldn't pronounce her surname wait she what? says she is quoted as saying that um here you can read this in spanish this is what she says okay she was quoted as saying a mi familia se lo tuve que repetir tres veces baldwin <laughs> so dumb y a la tercera me dijeron ah ya sabemos quién es porque no lo pronunciaste bien la primera vez Okay, so basically, I had to repeat it to my family three times. Baldwin! She's so fucking pretentious. <laughs> and the third time, I said, oh, we already know who it is. Why didn't you pronounce it right the first time? How would they pronounce Baldwin? God, I hate her. <laughs> but your, your family's white, girl. Like, they know the Baldwins. Like, stop. What family are you talking about? Because your other family are colonizers over in Iowa, and your other family... <laughs> Has deep roots in Boston. Like who? Who are you? Who are you doing this for? You're putting on a fucking facade. She's doing it. Okay, this shit is done for attention. Period. It's done for attention because when you come to the United States and you have an accent, people are like, "Oh, where are you from?" Mm-hmm. And blah blah blah, and they start asking questions, yeah. and the attention is on. The bitch is a narcissist. That's all. <laughs> well. Miss Baldwin. Baldwin. That's like that's printed out. But she goes back and says, no, everybody, like, everything that I was in was wrong. They misconstrued it. I never said I was from Mallorca. She says, and on her podcast, April 2020 podcast, she stated, I moved here to New York when I was 19 to go to NYU. When they asked where she was from, she says, my family lives in Spain. That's not an answer. They live in Mallorca. That's not I an came, answer. I came for school. And I never, ever, ever left. Bitch, you came from Boston to New York. Her family didn't even retire there yet. She's lying. Oh, oh, there's one to the video of her doing it. Hang on. I'm going to let you watch the video. I need to go to NYU. Ah. And from? From. My family lives in Spain. They live in Mallorca. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that would make sense. You wouldn't know the pop culture. I, uh-huh. no, I moved here when I was 19 to go to NYU. Ah. And from? From. My family lives there's in Spain. There's no accent. Where's her, okay. where's her accent? So, yeah, that would make sense. You wouldn't know the pop culture. I... Yeah, there's no accent when she says, I moved, my family lives in Spain. I moved here to go to NYU. There's no accent. There's... She sounds like the typical white chick. But she lied. She lied. And then look at, then Alec Baldwin. And I'm angry about these media outlets because someone near and dear to me, of course, who's going to address their own problems and social media, they're going to address it themselves. A uh, very mature, responsible individual who I care about deeply, who a lot was said about them that is not true. Not true. What am I? Uh, what, what, what are we doing? There was so. I don't know what he's saying. He's not saying anything. He's not. He's being really vague. It's his wife that he's talking about. But he's, he's not saying anything. <laughs> I don't know why this one's in here. Um, <laughs> like literally in that. He said a bunch of words that didn't mean shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> what the fuck? Everything you said meant nothing. Nothing you... Yeah, all, you put a bunch of words together that meant absolutely zero. Blah, 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 blah. But it's him. Like, not... She tricked him, and then he was perpetuating, my wife's from Spain, Cause her family's that? from Spain, because he, in fact, believed that because she grifted him. And now he's five kids in deep, you know, they've only been married almost 10 years now, I guess. Mm. And, oh, I guess they got married in 2012. So almost 10 years, let's just say that. And now he's like, I got bamboozled. But <laughs> is he going to leave her because she tricked him? Or is he going to be like, I'm in love with my wife. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to stand by her even though she fucked me over with these lies. And she could have just been honest from fucking Jump Street. I hope um, that he would like, well... I don't love you because of <laughs> what you do. You just wanted to take away his love. No, 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 no. He's not, no, I'm saying that's not the reason why I love you is because you're, oh, okay. you know, you're Spanish or whatever. Like I, I love the person that you are and the relationship that we've built together. But the fact that you felt like you had to lie about it is about the bullshit and you need to get your shit in order, sister. 
you need to figure out what's wrong with you. Go to a fucking shrink. She needs a psychiatrist. She needs a therapist. She needs to fucking figure out why she hates herself so much that she would put on a fucking fake ass accent and pretend to be from somewhere that she is not. Because I bet you the Spanish people are like, we don't claim that bitch. <laughs> Just like we don't claim your punk ass freaking Kelly Dodd. I'm black. No, no. you're not. No. You're not black and we don't claim you. Well, her, her dad's black or something? Is that what she's trying to say? She probably has, like, some ancestry that has, like, one fucking dot from freaking, like, South Africa or something. That's shit. like me saying that I'm Asian because I'm, like, 1% um, Iranian. Is it that Iran's not in Asia? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it says, like... <laughs> it's, well, I mean... It's, it did it's say the, that. It's it the Middle East, but it's, it's more, like... It's very rare. It's in the middle of... That desert area right mm-hmm, down there, mm-hmm. but I'm just saying, like I could, I could say I'm white. I guess it's on the Asian Peninsula. I could, I mean, I could say that too. Like, I mean, continent, because I think you're the same, right? Like 13, 14 percent Irish, like English shit. It's yeah, no, it's like it says English Irish. It doesn't specify. Yeah, we could say anything, <laughs> but, but I'm we, not gonna go and be like, hey, no. I'm from Ireland, <laughs> and I'm gonna put on an accent, and I'm gonna talk like this because. I'm Irish now. You are. You've been Irish the whole time, the Brandy. Fuck. And but she doesn't even have any ancestry. Oh, well, we she has, we don't know if she did her twenty three and me, but according to the sources, she could go and say I'm Slovenian or whatever it was. What was it? Slavic. Yeah. Okay. I'm Slavic. But you're a fucking liar. You're American. You're American. You're American. More. Be American. America. American. America. Ugh. <laughs> it's just so stupid. I don't understand it. Like, I don't fucking get it. You know what's really funny? Like, you again, a, a Real Housewives reference. Um, Elizabeth from Real Housewives of Orange County this season. Her father is Mexican. Mm-hmm. And her father told her, like, when they were kids, he was like, you guys are not going to speak Spanish because people, you know, frown, look down on, Sp- judge you. on on Mexicans. Yeah. Yeah. So it's weird because people come over here and they try to drop their accents. That's what I was to, thinking. They try to to not be from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Americans are so fucking quick to go and try to pretend to be from somewhere else. That's what exactly what I was thinking. Because most people, they try and drop their accent. They don't want to keep that. But you're going ahead and put it on. It's great that you, you, know, you want to make sure your children are bilingual and you speak Spanish in the home. That's cool. That's totally fine, but that's not the way you were brought up. And I just, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. Like you said, you had all this stuff before you met him. You had your yoga studios before you met Alec Baldwin, your husband now. But what's with the ruse? It makes no sense. It's for attention. That's basically what it is, for attention. If you were going to do that, you might as well just stay in Spain. Go go visit Spain. Go live with your parents and just stay over there because we don't want you. Go, they don't want away. her either. I know. They didn't go to the wedding. <laughs> and they fled to Spain. So did, were they invited or were they like, I mean, did they say? I don't know if they got an invitation or not, but I know they were not at her wedding and her brother walked her down the aisle. Mm, that's nuts. So whatever that, it's it's personal. And I, the, oh, she claims she wanted to protect her parents' privacy. But if anyone looked at your parents, they would know that the story that you've been telling is not true. Right. So what, her her brother looks Spanish? I don't understand. Uh-huh, he looks brown. Well, because he lives in Spain. Okay. So I think he might have got a little spray tan too. There's a lot of Spanish people that look white, though. So mm. I don't even understand what the purpose of that is. There is a lot of fucking white, blonde, fucking Spanish people. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Let me find a picture of him. With blue eyes. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That is so gross. We're just saying gross. You don't got to lie to kick it. That's all. (sighs) God. Yeah. So she says that her native tongue is Spanish. Nope. Liar. And it was the Today Show um, with uh, Telemundo's Evie Sisko when she was like, oh, you know, how do you say the English word for cucumbers? And then on dumb bitch on CAA Creative Artist Agency, the, her talent agency, they said that she was born in Mallorca, Spain. They've since changed it, but I got a copy of it. Everybody knows it. You let that lie float, hun. You you let it go, and you just need to accept that this has happened and that you're one hundred percent guilty of this. But we want to know why. 
Okay, as the Spanish say, you need to you need to perform a mea culpa, sweetie. Mm. Yeah. What's a mea culpa? Forgiveness? <laughs> Basically, it's an apology to her. Oh, okay. Saying it's my fault. Mea culpa means my fault. Okay. And she needs to fucking be like, yeah, I did this, and I'm sorry. But she's not, because she's a fucking cunt. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt my vagina when you said that. <laughs> wow. No, man, I thought this uh, episode would be a, l- a lot of fun. <laughs> Next week is our um, our two-year anniversary. Oh. What are we going to do? I don't know. Mm, me neither. But um, she's still, she's like, I don't feel like I, has to, I have to explain myself. I feel like I've been clear. Bitch. How about this? How about this? Be super clear like this. You're murky water. My name is Hillary. Hillary. I was born in Boston to a bunch of white people. Mm-hmm. To a bunch of them. I actually have a Boston accent, but, I, you know, I came to New York and I tried to drop that because I wanted to sound more sophisticated. But, yeah, I'm a Southie. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Just put your whole Boston on. Get Mark Wahlberg on there. Oh, my God! Like, for real. Get Mark on the hizzle. Like, honestly, you need to be you, okay? Don't be... Well, that's her. She's a fucking fraud. That's who you are. Hilaria. Hilarious. Hilariously stupid. Fraud. That's all. (laughs) I can't take it. Yeah. And people like... I, For some reason, I feel like these people are lower than fucking financial fraudsters. Yeah. That's true. Nice spray tan, honey. Lots of spray tan. Oh, hang on. This one's good. You're gonna you're gonna hate it though. <laughs> Hilaria Baldwin is Alec Baldwin's wife, a yoga instructor, twenty six years his junior. Together they have too many kids. If I were Ireland, Alec's adult daughter with Kim Basinger, I would be pissed watching my piece of the inheritance pie get smaller and smaller. <laughs> Five kids in New York City. Come on, nobody has that many children in NYC unless they're Hasidic. Well, up until yesterday, my perception of Hilaria was that she's really good at getting pregnant and losing the baby weight. It's like her thing. Who's, whose page is this? This somebody's page, but like, and then this is just what people were turned off about. She's just, I have a lot of questions. Number one, how dare you? <laughs> the Twitter user who posted it, his name was Lenny Briscoe on Twitter. And that's the, the, the tweet I read. You have to admire Hilaria Baldwin's commitment to her decade long grift where she impersonates a Spanish person. No, I don't admire that at all. I think it's disgusting. And look at all her white kids. Like, honestly, her little blonde-haired kids. They all have blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. But she's faking the funk. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, your kids look like their fucking Irish father. hmm And it's because you have fucking white-ass fucking European ancestry that's mm-hmm. not, like, dark people. Mm-hmm. Like, fucking Morocco. Mm-hmm. You're dumb. Somebody should kick you right in, in your twat. Like it, English, Irish, German, French Canadian, and Slovak. French Canadian is not even. Oh. It just says like one of her mom's grandmother was from like Canada. But is she a, okay? I get that. Is she a First Nations person or she was just like from French Canada? I that have no idea. Doesn't make any. sense. It doesn't make any sense. French Canadian. I'm many many things like she said. I am a lying sack of dog shit. Well, girl, get your shit in order, get your house in order, and then we'll get out of your business. You but- know those kids are gonna be so fucking confused. <laughs> they can speak. They're gonna Spanish, do though. their fucking twenty three and me and be like, Mom, where does it say anything about Spain? That's what happens. A bunch of people are told, Oh yeah, you're Native American, blah, 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 blah. That actually that comes from land stealing. I know. Obviously that's not what she wants. But that does happen. People lie about their children's lineage. Yeah, but the Native American thing, there, there was a specific purpose for that. Yeah. This is just to fucking pretend to be something. Yeah, it's to come up and to marry a rich man. But, I, that's what it was. To marry him and push out all his children. But, okay. Okay. She's trying to secure the bag, My, baby. What I don't understand, was she doing this prior to meeting Alec Baldwin? This accent? Yes. I want to, listen, so in high school, no, right? No, not College, no. Right. So then she opens these yoga studios. So I want to know if during her yoga classes, if she was putting on this accent. Right. Um, Because it started happening. Alec Baldwin. So there's a couple, you know, years from 
yoga to Alec Baldwin. Mm-hmm. I don't think she was. I think she did this for him. Yeah, the whole thing, it's just, this whole thing is fucking sus. I can't, I just can't, I can't deal. I can't deal. Well, you only have to deal with this right now in this episode, and then we'll never talk about it again. (laughs) (laughs) It just doesn't make sense to me at all. Like, if, let's say I wanted to meet a famous actor man and marry him, and I knew he was into Asian women. I'm using the Asian women again, because that's how fucking ridiculous it is. (laughs) I am not going to put on a fake freaking Japanese or Chinese or even a Filipino accent to pretend to be Filipino or Chinese or Japanese because that's how ridiculous it would look for me doing that shit. (laughs) But how does it sound? Oh, God. (laughs) People would be like, what the fuck is wrong with her? (laughs) What was I watching? Somebody. (laughs) There's a lot of beautiful half Asian, half black women that are nice chocolate skin mm-hmm. and almond eyes like Karushi. and they guess guess what they don't have accents because they don't need them well um i have a friend of mine who i work with he's black and his baby mama is japanese and she wrote raised a child in japan right but that's d- different it's different he grew up in another country yes so he would have an accent right but the bitch grew up here true so she's pretending to have an accent yes but again like if I was Karuji and I was pretending to put on a Thai accent, I would sound like an idiot. Yeah. Or is she Vietnamese? Is she tired of Vietnamese? I don't know Karuji's life. I think she's Vietnamese. Trang. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Vietnamese. Yeah. Tran. But can you imagine going to the nail salon and hearing Karuji Chan Tran doing that accent? Mm. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> like, we... I'm, I'm flummoxed. I remember... <laughs> so, I met this coworker of mine one time from a different office... And, like, he was cool as a cucumber, right? We went out drinking. And then he comes up to me. He was like, hey, so I'm putting on a, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm putting on a, a British accent for these guys over here. So don't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> and he does that when he goes out. He puts on, like, a British accent. <laughs> That's funny. But he's not doing it. Like, he's not living his life that way. He's no. He's doing it for, like, a for, joke. For kicks at, at bars yeah, and that's, stuff. I mean, you know, I'll do it every now and again just because it's funny. But I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not trying to pretend, hey, I'm from England. I grew up in, I grew up in Surrey. And, you know, Kim I know Grant's from Surrey. I know Craig telling David. stories about, you know, shit that's not true. Me and just Alba grew up together in the mean streets of London. God, it's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I wish I had a, a freaking British accent. So well, I could sound sophisticated. Sounds so sophisticated. Oh, actually, I would. I don't be doffed, Don't be doffed. I would love to have a Cockney accent, so I could pretend like to Americans I would still sound sophisticated, but to people in England I'd sound like trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Get that weak ass shit out of here. Over here, we're like, oh my god, where are you from? <laughs> oh no, I'm from <laughs> now. <laughs> How's it going, bros? Bros. <laughs> what are you doing for? <laughs> we love you guys. We love anybody who's out there with an accent. We love you. Um, we're just having a good fucking time. But it's insane. So th- that's that's what y'all get today. The shenanigans Ugh. of Hilaria Baldwin. To this day, she will not admit her wrongdoing. She's blaming it on the press. She's saying that she was raised speaking both English and um, Spanish, that Spanish was her first language. She's full of shit, but, you know, whatever. Her parents sound, you know... <laughs> her parents are probably pissed. They're probably They're mad. probably stomping around their house <laughs> right now. Our little dark... You see what our daughter's done? Hillary! She disgraced us! Jeez. Your name is Hillary! God. Mm. It's funny. Brandy, do you have a thumbs up for the week? <laughs> um, My thumbs up for the week is... I'm just going to continue manifesting. My manifestations have been coming to fruition and I love it. What's your thumbs up for the week? Oh my gosh, it's February? Mm -hmm. So... First week of February. First week of February. I need to start growing some more things. So I'm still pushing forward with my goal for this year is to grow a bunch of my own food. So I'm just planting seeds and letting them grow and see what happens. I am going to focus back on um, my class reunion because that shit is going down in 2021 and I'm really excited about that. So that's about it, man. Just really happy to be, just really happy to be here with you right now, you mm-hmm. know? 
But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Man. That's about it. Hey, y'all. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here with us. Leave us a review, please. Go to their nearest uh, podcast player, wherever you're listening to this. Leave us a review there. Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, Podchaser, all those. Spreaker, leave us a review. It really helps. Please, please do that. And connect with us on social if you aren't already. Uh, Twitter, Book of Lies Pod, Instagram, and Facebook, Book of Lies Podcast. We have a group on Facebook, Book of Lies Podcast group. Feel free to join that. And I'm Sunny Hepburn. And I'm Brandy Fleeks. And this was Book, Book of, of Lies. Lies. The podcast. It's Bolt Bitches. Yes, it is.